Now what can you do if you live in a camper van? Well you can always come to a place like this and stay here a few days and that may be precisely what I'm going to do. So look at this, this is Campora San Giovanni and I've got my van down there and it's bang on the beach. Well I'd have to walk down to the beach, I'm going to park it on sand but it's, it's, it's right down there. Look at this view, this is Calabria in Italy. Campora San Giovanni is approximately out about 40 kilometers to the north of Pizzo where I did other films from earlier but this year. Isn't that a wonderful colour? And isn't this a nice place to be? Now I've just walked up here into the, uh, the hills above the town and uh, we've got the mountains over here and in this general direction eventually you get the Sila National Park uh, it's some distance from here, about 40 kilometers or so <laughs> by car but you would do and although Italy in this this place here is quite narrow um, it's very high this, it, the Sila if I remember it serves me correctly it goes up to 1600 meters admittedly it's a bit further, lower than Polino which is a bit further north which I believe goes to 2600 meters but uh, all the same, I mean it's pretty, it's pretty high, it's bigger than the highest mountain in the UK for example which also happens to be quite close to the sea. I'm just going to film where I'm walking the point of this is to show how, how alive it is with lizards of course now that I've started filming the lizards have all disappeared well it was quite alive with lizards, you'll have, have to believe me on that one there's also these nice uh, red flowers, I don't know what they're called But there's quite a lot of them around, I quite like that. One thing I've really appreciated in southern Italy has been the scents and the, uh, the plants and things like this, even though I didn't have bad hay fever. Um, it was, it's been very, very, very pleasant experience. Pretty wonderful really, I think. Sorry, I can't tell what species it is. Anyway, it's nice to see. This is not a very big town. It's just talking to one of the locals. We've got to see the locals here are very friendly. I use the word village and I know in Spain you should never use the word village because it's an insult. I couldn't think what else to call it. Anyway, so it's not a very big place. I actually use the word place there you go. Luogo. And this was the main street. And as it's midday there's no one around and the one person I was just talking to he asked me if I'd eaten and I took that as an invitation and then I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd better not accept I was a bit embarrassed about it as I just met him he was there with his uh, cousin who was no sorry his nephew I should say not his cousin um, he would be about what 10 years old maybe nine something like that Well, I've just paid a euro for three oranges, so I could have come here and picked them myself for nothing. Just the other side of the street as well. <laughs> Although, I seem to recall in Spain, they call them naranjas locas. Crazy oranges, because they were so bitter. Earlier today, there was something going on in the church, which is around the corner. Got two churches here, and there was lots of people here. So the church is brand new. It looks like one of the ones you get in Poland.
So maybe a day some day of note, 26th of May, it's the last Sunday in May. Don't know what it is. But there was stacks of people, maybe there's stacks of people every Sunday. Maybe they've got such great services at the church here that people just come here. As I walk down to the towards the sea, I notice the wind's pick, picking up again. And earlier it was really strong and it's really strong again now. There's something that every camper van owner dreams about. And now we have something I find most interesting. A road sign. Salerno Reggio Calabria. There's 450 kilometres between the two of them. That's like the distance between Newcastle and London, to put it in a British context. And yet, the sign's still here for the road, the little road that goes up and down. The road that, for example, during the Second World War, Montgomery had to take to get to Salerno. And although the motorway was built here in the 60s, it's still not so good. And it's, I think it's quite strange still to see these signs here. And were it not for the fact I've already agreed to meet uh, two lots of friends on, on route, I would like to take this road just to see it. I'm sure it's a wonderful drive up. It's the island of Stromboli in the Tyrrhenian Sea. It's the third largest active volcano in Europe. And we can see a Strombolian eruption has taken place right now. Strombolian from the island of Stromboli, but it refers to all volcanoes. It's releasing smoke, and you can see it on its own efforts. Out. We went to the olive groves. Uh, I think there's probably far more of them before than there are now, but uh, there's still quite a lot. And uh, I've come back now, possibly just on time, judging by those clouds. And remember, it is the 26th of May, and that we are currently in, at least I'm currently in, southern Italy. And, uh, there's my home, with a wonderful view. Let's face it, it doesn't get much better than this.